Hi, I'm Dr. John Martin with IB Family Health Updates, and we're going to touch on a very interesting subject for three siblings here, and that is uh, the birth order and how that affects the IQ within a family. And a study was done in Norway, 250,000 men, but they think it would apply to both men and women. And what they found was that the firstborn tend to have a three-point IQ higher than the second-born male. Now, they think that the reason for this is not just the firstborn, it's not a biological reason that he was born first, but it's probably more due to the family dynamics uh, around that firstborn child. They tend to get the undivided attention of their parents, they tend to get more stimulation from the parents, so they tend to develop a slightly higher IQ. And they were able to draw these conclusions because if the firstborn child died for some reason, the secondborn son then advanced and had that higher IQ compared to the next child in line. So they were able to say that the eldest children in the family will tend to have a higher IQ, usually by about three points, but that is not due to any intrinsic biological factors, but really due to the family dynamics. Now, we have to decide if this is true. <laughs> so, <laughs> why were they looking at the daughters? Well, it is interesting. They first they did a study of 250,000 men, and then they did another one of 64,000 pairs of brothers who found the same results. But every time it was done with just males. But you're right, I'm not sure or why. Or they've been trying to uh, sort of uh, correct for hormonal differences. Right, but then they also said in the same study, that because sex has a little effect on IQ scores, that they would therefore um, apply the results to females as well as males. But okay. With the oldest, I think the data speaks for itself. <laughs> but uh, but and the, other, the other thing he points out is often there's a nature versus nurture debate. And I think it's interesting just to show that people with, I mean, nature should be very similar in these individuals, but yet there's a difference uh, in nurture. Um, even though there may be a very small difference in nurture in terms of figure with the same household, they should be very similarly genetically, in terms of nature, I think they're very similar, but even that difference in birth order. So again, I think it speaks to the, the role of, of nurture in, in our development. Well, you can certainly see that too, I think, in a family of eight children. By the time you've had your third or your fourth, there's definitely going to be more, your time is going to be divided amongst many more children than it would be if you just had that one. So I think that first child probably does get a little bit more individual oh, yeah. attention. Absolutely. We had to fend for yeah. ourselves. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's your update from Ivy Family Health. Thank you.